Let's create automated tests using Architect. To get started, simply download Architect from the Google Chrome Store, and it will automatically update as new versions are released in the future. Next, log in to Functionize, select your project, and then select Architect from the New Test dropdown. From this dialog, enter your application's URL, then check this box to accept, and click Start. Architect will launch your application. Click the record button to start creating your test. We recommend clearing cookies to avoid interfering with your test experience. Architect begins each test with a page initialize action to record the starting URL of your application. As best practice in creating tests, use the verify element button to make sure you're on the correct web page anytime a new page is loaded. As you move your mouse, all elements on the page are highlighted so you can select the element to verify. Next, click through your application, just like you're running a manual test. Architect is unlike a typical record and playback solution. Instead of using a hard-coded selector for each element you interact with, Architect captures hundreds of attributes from every single element on each page. Rather than wait for tests to fail, Functionize uses this data and machine learning algorithms to dynamically keep tests up to date. Let's cover some basic use cases. To add a hover, click on the hover button, then move your mouse over the desired item and select the element to appear on hover. To interact with elements hidden behind Architect, you can collapse and expand the panel as needed. To modify your test actions, drag and drop to reorder steps. You can also delete any actions and edit steps by clicking on the white dot to the left of each action. Lastly, make sure to add instructions to document the steps in your test. For more advanced options, click on the blue plus button to open the action panel. You can pass data between actions or tests to easily validate forms. Generate data on the fly, including randomized text, phone numbers, email addresses, and much more. Add visual verifications to check that elements and pages appear as expected. You can add a visual check for the entire page or select a specific element. You can adjust the match percentage to be more or less strict of changes. Functionize Tools brings you the most common end-to-end -end scenarios to the cloud. Test email, APIs, text messages, spreadsheets, and PDF files, and databases all through the web. For example, let's insert a random email address and use the email reader to verify that the correct email is received. Or upload a PDF file exported from your app to verify its contents match what's expected from your application UI. This is a modern web-based approach, so there's no need to install a desktop application or worry about keeping it up to date. Anyone can use Functionize to automate tests without code, but engineers who want to can build and reuse code snippets to customize your tests. Access, use, or verify data from the underlying DOM, CSS, and JavaScript. All of these features are available out of the box. Don't forget to add verifications. Verifications, also known as assertions, are crucial when working with self-healing tests. Your tests will adapt to recognize elements, even as your application UI changes like this. Add verify actions as checkpoints to prove that your test still follows the expected behavior. Here are three scenarios where you should add verifications. First, for new pages that load, if the previous step loaded a new page, verify this is the correct page that loaded by looking for an element that's ideally unique to this page. Second, for element updates, if the previous step changed an element on this page, for instance, after adding an item to the shopping cart, you want to make sure the shopping cart indicator reflects the new item quantity. Lastly, to verify application logic, if the previous step has some built-in verification logic, for instance, after filling in a form field, making sure that the required field was filled, verify that an error message doesn't display. 
Make sure to add enough verification throughout your test to catch failures as early as possible. Once you're done creating your tests, click Save.